Brandon here from Screw Cancer Let's Race. One of my projects during quarantine has been working on a set of pedals based on an actual set of pedals from Willwood. Uh, and I've got them mocked up over here. I've been using this setup for about three or four weeks. Before this, I had them set up on a wood platform. And the wood platform broke, and this is all set up. Anyway, I got some aluminum profile uh, to actually build a base for it. So today, that's what I'm going to do. So much for any continuity in the filming process here. Uh, obviously, I'm very new at this. Um, so, Brandon here from Screw Cancer Blood Race. We're back working on this pedal set again. Uh, it's a homemade hydraulic pedal set uh, made out of a set of Willwood pedals and some uh, uh, hydraulic master cylinders, hydraulic slave cylinders, some rubber bushings to compress everything. Uh, when I was working on this earlier in the video, that you'll see, I was you know, building the frame and everything for it, and I ran out of nuts. I didn't actually run out, but the ones that I ordered uh, were wrong. I ordered ones for 30 series instead of 40 series aluminum like an idiot. So I got a new box here, a package of stuff, and hopefully the right things are in it. Let's see what all there is. Oh, that's neat. Uh, crimp tool, not relevant for this project. A um, Ford Motorcraft thermostat. Uh, this is for my truck, we'll do that on Saturday. And a package. Hopefully this has all the right things in it. Maybe they'll leak, oh, no, of course the package leaks everywhere. This is what I was hoping for, I think. Uh, some 40 series, focus, 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 focus. There it is, 40 series uh, spring ball roll-in peanuts. So, uh, I'm gonna get back to work here and finish up putting the support structure for this back together and come back for a recap. messing with all that stuff. I managed to break the ground wire off of the potentiometer. Not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna solder that back on and do some final adjustments and we'll be able to put the, put the pedals back in the race rig. Alright, just like that, the potentiometer soldered back on, repairs are made, so I'm going to transfer this uh, control board here, move this Arduino Pro Micro is what I've got powered here, so this Arduino Pro Micro 
it's gonna move into a new control box and we'll mount that up and uh, plug it in and make sure everything still works. So I've gone through a couple different iterations for the box that the control board sits in and this is the most recent one that I had. It's just uh, PLA, 3D printed, and it had a couple of screws on it. So I used just some aluminum screws, nothing too fancy, dug into my RC car box for those. Um, and I I don't like the screws. I want to do something a little bit, a little bit different. So I've been playing around with uh, Fusion 360 and working on different tolerances and stuff. And so I've got another box here. This one's orange, still PLA, because uh, it's really easy to print without an enclosure or anything. And this one, this one snaps together. So super easy. Uh, it's got the cutouts. Uh, so this one right here, that'll be where the USB cord plugs in, and this right here will be where the uh, cords for the pressure sensors and the potentiometer go in. Um, anyway, we're gonna mount this up and see how it goes. And I think I'm gonna put it right here. I can hard mount everything. Maybe I'll put it right here as the tail goes down uh, and all the cords are to the back, but I'm gonna tuck it away nice and neat so it's just one last thing in the way. Uh, this other one, the, the blue box here, it didn't have anything to hold it in, so it kind of just floated. So this will be a nice upgrade and maybe, just maybe, I'll uh, finally have landed on a design that I like. So I got everything put back together for the most part here. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm not 100% satisfied with. The uh, controller box here, I had to put a little bit of hot glue around the rim to get it hold shut. So uh, that's that's something that will need some revision. Um, and then I've got this loose wire here uh, for the potentiometer. Um, this is going to change. I'm gonna wind up bundling this and then shortening the wire to go directly into the control box right here. I can zoom in on the control box here. All right, so right down here is going to be, in the next revision, it's gonna be an aircraft plug. Uh, so I'll have a plug directly into the box for that, and then I'll have two more plugs over here, one for the uh, one for the brake, and then one for the uh, clutch. Now, another thing too, is I didn't label anything when I took it apart, which was kind of dumb, so I don't know which one of these uh, hydraulic pressure sensors. I don't know if this one is the clutch or the brake or whatever. Well, I'll find out when I go to calibrate it. Um, and you can see down here, let's see if I can adjust there. There we go. So you see this mount right here. Uh, this goes to the clutch, or excuse me, the brake slave cylinder, and it moves a little bit. So I could put a brace back on it. I've got a brace that I made uh, for the last one, uh, for the last iteration of this pedal set. Um, but I also decided I didn't like that brace very much either. So I made, or I should say I designed, a better mount. So I haven't printed the mount yet, but I'm going to, and that'll go into it in the next update, uh, as well as probably a new throttle assembly as I'm trying to, trying to improve that a little bit, get a little bit more uh, travel out of the potentiometer. So you can take a look at the linkage here. Uh, so before, on this bolt right here, I had it shimmed out quite a bit, and I had the linkage assembled a little bit different way. So I'm, I'm trying to improve this every time, and I think I've got the geometry of it right. Uh, so you can see, if I can get my hand out of the way here, there's no binding or anything in there, that's just spring tension. And then I've got the rod with the return spring right here. And this piece right here, I'm not really too thrilled with it, but it does serve a purpose. So it doesn't look like it goes to anything, uh, but this piece right here helps keep the alignment of the spring because on the back here, uh, this bolt will catch. So if it slides over, right, you can see that it, it stops it before it uh, it goes to where it interferes with this other bolt head. So uh, I'm gonna improve that a little bit, but for now this works. All right, now that I've got everything back together, I fired up some Automobilista 2. Calibrate the uh, calibrate the pedals right quick. Okay, should be 
good to go as far as controls. So I'm gonna run a little bit of DTM here at Brands Hatch. All right, so I fired up some Automobilista 2 with the DTM cars at Brands Hatch. Just doing a little bit of trial here. Just wanna make sure that everything works as it's supposed to. Uh, so I realigned the throttle, uh, throttle linkage here so we can see. The throttle moves nice and smooth, super duper easy here. Uh, brakes are unchanged, they shouldn't have any difference right there, same with the clutch, but uh, one thing that I did notice is the bracing, so you can see the bracing right over here, that bracing is a little bit more flexible than I'd like. Uh, so I gotta figure out a solution to that, maybe add a, uh, add a couple of pieces of steel to support it, um, we'll figure it out. Not anything to worry about right now, it still works fine, still get 100% travel out of the throttle, but anyway, we're gonna do one lap of brand attach in the DTM car, just to verify everything works as it's supposed to. Make sure nothing's plugged in incorrectly. Make sure everything is properly it's got so much less resistance it feels weird it's not bad it's just different it's kind of very free Everything works just as it's supposed to. So now I'm gonna tidy up a couple of loose ends and get to editing the video. So I just got done testing everything and making sure it all works, and it does, thankfully. Uh, but that doesn't mean everything's perfect. So this is my third iteration of these pedals, and I've still got a couple of things to worry about. So uh, the throttle the throttle on these pedals, the Willwood pedals, has a torsion spring at the bottom of it. So it's like wound around the thing, and it goes down, and it's got to be held in place and whatever. It doesn't really do anything. The spring is too light to provide any feedback in this application. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut that out uh, for V4 of these pedals, uh, as well as I'm going to print uh, spring cups for the throttle return spring. So the throttle return spring is on that rod, and it goes back and forth, whatever, and it makes a little bit of a noise. And if I have the spring cups, it's going to be plastic on metal rather than metal on metal. So I think that should quiet that quiet that down quite a bit. And then I'm also going to print a shorter potentiometer uh, linkage. So this right here is a potentiometer linkage. The one that's on there is black. Uh, and if I decrease the length of this guy, I can get more travel out of the potentiometer. So right now I'm using 18.5% of the travel of the potentiometer. I'd like to be closer to 40 or 50% if I can, uh, just to get as many pickup points as possible. At this point, it, like, the pedals are definitely usable and they don't necessarily hinder me, but it would be really, really nice if I had more pickup points, if at all possible. So. Uh, other than that, I've got the slave cylinder clutch, the slave cylinder for the clutch, and then the clutch and brake slave cylinder mounts that I need to print. So that's about it for now. Um, we'll have another update when I get done with version four of the pedals, which should hopefully happen within the next month or so. This is Brandon from Screw Cancer Let's Race. Thank you for watching.